There you were at work, finishing up the last few documents you had to finish. Ugh, it was so tiring for you, you sighed to yourself. All you could think about was getting home and enjoying some delicious dinner you pick up. You sighed once more. I think I'm about done, you said to yourself. Your work was tedious, but you knew how to get it done right. Your boss came in to congratulate you on what an amazing job you had done. That was rare. Did your boss have a thing for you? After all, she was a female. But there's no way in the world she would have anything with you. Hmm. Or... You quickly swipe that thought away from your brain. There's no absolute way she'd want to be with you out of all people that are at that workplace. You sighed to yourself once more and decided it was time to go home. You picked up some food on the way home. And you were so excited because today was payday and on your payday you always got your favorite, favorite. So, after grabbing that, you went home. You started to unpack the food as you kind of wanted to enjoy it like it was a gourmet dinner you had prepared yourself, but... You know there was no way in hell your ass could cook, so... You went ahead and continued to go ahead and unpack the food, place it on plates, and enjoy it at your dinner table. You had a TV there, so you weren't completely lonely, but... You received a call from your sister. You answered the phone. Hey. Um... You won't believe what just happened to me. I was... I was taking a nap, and I felt this weird-ass sensation. I have no idea what happened, but... My neck feels so weird. I, I don't even know what to say. No, I didn't hurt myself or anything. Seriously, I mean it. Those days are over. Uh, why won't you believe me? I'm just telling you, something really weird happened to me while I was sleeping, and I have no idea what it was. Just be careful, okay? You agreed with her and told her to keep safe. Alright, I will. And you asked her if Mom was doing okay. Yeah, she's fine. Better than ever. Why? Are you worried about her? You responded yes. Trust me, she's under my care. And hey, I'm talking to you on the phone, aren't I? She's fine. Don't you worry your little head about it, okay, little bro? You said all right, and to stop calling you little bro. Ah, uh, shut up. You'll be fine. Alright, I'll talk to you later, okay? She hung up. <sighs> Deciding it was time to go to bed, you quickly hopped in the shower, dried off afterwards, put some clothes on, and went into your bed. You thought about what your sister was telling you, but you thought it was absolutely absurd that something like that was happening. There was no way in the world something could hurt her, so she had to do it herself, or worse, someone else did it to her. The thought just, ugh, disgusted your mind. So, soon after you fall asleep, you wake up abruptly, just seconds into falling asleep. It felt like someone was in your house, like you had this paranoid feeling that someone was there. You calmly quieted your mind, as you didn't want to think about this too much. You knew those days were behind you, and you were no longer in a dangerous area. But you still wanted to get up out of habit, and out of that fear to go check everything. You went around your house, looking for anything, any sign of abnormally, or anything that could throw you off, because you knew where everything was placed. You didn't see anything misplaced. Nothing. It was just your mind messing with you, and that was fine. You go to lay back down in your bed, falling asleep once again. You wake up once more with that chilling sensation. You get up, quickly, 
<sighs> I wonder what's on my mind. It was probably what my sister said, you said to yourself. Getting up, you went to the bathroom, this time to wash your face. Washing it so rigorously, over and over again. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you repeated to yourself. There's no one here, there's no one here! Soon after, you feel a chilling sensation on your neck. There was a girl behind you. You turned around, scared out of your mind. Huh? The girl wrapped her arms around you. Sweetie! Sweetie, oh my god, it's you! My darling! My sweetie! It took me forever to find you. This house, it's... It's so far away. It's so far away. Mm -hmm. Who in the hell was this girl in? Why was she in your house? That's all you could think about. Oh, you're so cute. Even up close, you know? You're just so adorable. Like, really, really adorable? I... I've never really... Seen someone like you up close before? Not someone that I love. You were shocked. She loved you? But why? Who was this girl and why could she love you? Why did she love you? You don't recognize me? Come on, you have to recognize me, please. Um, um, what's something that'll make you recognize me? Her arms still wrapped tight around you, staring into the mirror. Suddenly, she changes a little bit. But you notice. And you say, Is that you? Yes! Yes, it's me! You remembered! You remembered! Yay! My love! You actually remembered me! This means you actually like me, and... All my advances in the workplace, you actually noticed me. Really? You were questionable, but that girl? You liked that girl. Like, hella liked. So, you asked the question, so, what are you doing in my house? Of course I know you, and I'll admit I have a thing for you. But what the hell are you doing in my house? Really? You like me? Then, please, let me be yours. N no, let me make you mine. I... I... I am not a regular human. I... I am... I'm a vampire. You were shocked to hear that. You pulled her off of you, finally. A vampire? Yes, I'm a vampire. Please understand. I didn't want any of this to happen. I was a normal girl when you first met me. I... I didn't do any of this. It wasn't my fault. I... Please... Understand. I want you to be mine. I really do. I can't... I can't live like this. Everyone else is so mean. And you're the only person I know in this world going to hell. Vampires exist. Please, I want you to stay mine forever. And if we can live forever, I want it to be with you. Until we decide one day that we want to die. I, I want it to be with you. So please... Be mine. She comes closer to you. Her mouth on your neck. You don't push her back, so... She knows that it's okay. She bites into your neck. <sighs> Slowly and gently. Sucking on your neck. You're mine. 
Do you get that? That you're mine? And... And we'll be together forever. I'll let you get to know me a little bit more before I decide to move in with you. But... We'll have to be careful. But, you know... She leaned in closer to your ear. I... I love you. Uh, okay? She stepped back and gave you a kiss on the cheek. L let's always be together. Uh, okay? Okay?